Today, I'll be unboxing a $125 comic book mystery box from my guy, Actual Dracula. Stick around. DJ Lynx is in the building. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, DJ Lynx. Back in the building, back in effect, DJ and back Lynx. with another video. And today, I have another, yes, this is the third setting sun mystery box $125 comic book mystery box shipped from canada from my guy the first one was dope i went and had to cop another one and then i saw that he still had a few of these available i think he still has two or three left and i was just like you know what let me get another one now he released these a couple of months ago so i'm curious to see if the books the value that was in those boxes if it held up throughout these couple of months i want to say at least three months ago maybe maybe more so we're gonna crack this open we're gonna do it total values all that other good stuff let's go All right, so of course we got that shredder print that was included with all the books. You can only get the shredder print with the Setting Sun mystery boxes, but what's dope about this, and I'll show you the shredder print as well as another print. So this shredder print, this will be my third one. I'm going to wind up giving this away on in the mix. Let me show you what it is. So an actual Dracula original, Shredder and the Turtles, or Wolverine and the Turtles rather, with the word Shredder or the title Shredder up at the top. That's pretty dope. I'll be giving this away to one lucky winner at a future In The Mix show. And then of course, <laughs> ah, this art print, this wasn't part of the mystery box. I purchased it separately from Drake. He just included it with this box. This was an alien um, original art piece that he did. And I was just like, that is incredible. I am super into aliens and conspiracy theories and stuff like that. And I thought this was absolutely phenomenal. Probably my favorite work that Drag has done. And I was just like, I need that. I gotta get that frame. That is fantastic. I think he has a few more. It was a limited print run of five and that's one of five. And then here we got some books. So there's a note, it says, Bonjour Monsieur Lynx. Here is another mystery box. Thank you for all your support. I also included a book I was supposed to send you a year ago. <laughs> yes, better late than never. And at least comic books never go down in value that is absolutely true if you are reading this on youtube now will be a good time to remind everyone that tyler sucks <laughs> your friend ad which i believe that stands for actual dracula i'm not positive we have to look up what the ad stands for all right so we have our start here bundle i guess this is the mystery box stuff and this might be some aok -okay stuff Yo, shit. All right, so this is crazy. Yeah, so these would be not part of the mystery box, so I'm not going to assign any values to this. So this is Hellcrow, King of Hell, the Toronto Fan Expo edition by Farside Comics, uh, you know, homaging Drake's album. I forgot the name of the album. Uh, signed by Javon Jordan down at the bottom. And this is number 38 of 65. And then also thrown in, we got this in ALF number 35. Spinning the tunes, DJ ALF in the mix. That is absolutely dope, my guy. That is dope. And then the Incredible Hulk. A French version, it looks like, of the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> this is dope. That is dope, definitely the only french book in my collection now that is absolutely fantastic thank you sir thank you wow so those were the throw-in books we're not going to assign any values to those and then these are the mystery box contents here we go first book up you got an iron man there from the heroic age the invincible iron man you got iron man and war machine on the cover dope cover does uh does nothing for me dope cover nonetheless next book up nice fantastic four baby fantastic four in a newsy too at that let me move this over here fantastic four number 176 at 30 center the impossible man is back you're telling me that's dope i'm actually a big fan of the fantastic four i i really like this boom next book up oh shit moon knight that cover is phenomenal phenomenal holy crap moon knight number 12 oh shit and avengers is going to release may 4th avengers 1 so i can't wait for that to come out this is a banger banger of a cover next book up vampirella so i'm not a big fan of vampirella so this is definitely going to go out back out into the community uh you know through a giveaway or something like that 
uh, it's a dope cover nonetheless. Lucio Perillo, who is one of my favorite artists, I just don't collect Vampirella, but that is a fantastic cover. Next we go. Pero que esto? Looks like a Superman. What do we have? Dark Knight's Death Metal number four. This is actually pretty cool. I have to read this. I have the trades. So I have the trades of both the Road to Death Metal, Death Metal, Metal, Aluminum, Copper. That's pretty cool. Next we go. Nice, Man Thing. I love me some Man Thing. Man Thing number four. Yo, in fantastic condition. Newsstand. Great Doctor Strange on the cover. Mordo in the background doing his thing, being all menacing. Like, Brrr. I dig it. I dig it. Love this old school goodness of 40 center right there. Next we go. Nice. We got Wolverine in the cut. Marvel Comics presents Wolverine number one. This is pretty cool. He's, uh, you know, going shink, and then you can see the visual effects there when he goes shink, rubbing his animation claws together. Let's do it. Next book up, and there's a note on the back of this one. Spectacular Spider-Man number 116, first appearance of The Foreigner. The Foreigner. Gorgeous black costume Spidey there with Sabretooth battling it out. The Foreigner. Spider-Man is down to his last costume. A Spectacular Spider-Man 116. Next book. Nice. Strange Academy number one, third print. First appearance of The Strange Academy. This is dope. This is super dope. I know there's a show, I believe, coming down the, the pike, unless, you know, Marvel cancels it all. This is the third print. I believe Humberto Ramos on the cover. But boom, Strange Academy number one. That's pretty cool. Next book up. Nice, House of Slaughter number one, the one in 100 Jenny Frizen variant. Wow, this book was super hot when it came out. Reading it, I, you know, I read the first couple of issues. I didn't like this, the, the first story arc, so I kept collecting it, but I stopped reading it. I'm gonna wait till I get to one you know, point in my life where I could just knock it out all in one fell swoop, but this is a fantastic cover. Probably one of the better Jenny Frizen covers that I like. This is dope, so boom. And then we got three, no, two books left. So what do we have here? Spider-Man number one, the Shattered Comics Gold variant. That is dope. Spider-Man number one, the OG McFarlane one, is one of my favorite books of all time. This is when I really got into comics. It came out, what, in 90, 91? Yeah, man. I love, love this book. Well, not the original, the original. But this is pretty cool as well. I'm just not a big fan of the them overly homaging like Spider-Man 1 and then like Amazing Spider-Man 300. I think those homages need to retire. And then the final book out of this $125 comic book mystery box from my guy, Actual Dracula. Oh, snap. So, oh, that is dope, man. That is dope. Holy shit. So the Punisher, number 224, uh, Clayton Crane. Excuse me, my friend. Yeah. Why are you looking at my wife? Normally I'm with Clayton Crane, but this is absolutely fire. This is dope, man. This is, this is super, super dope. So overall, let's just do the coolness factor. And this is before I know any of the values. First and foremost, thank you for the throwing books. Absolutely love them. The print's fantastic. None of that stuff is going towards the value of this. This Punisher is dope. This Spider-Man is dope. This is dope. This is dope. This super dope. All of the stuff. And obviously, you know, I'm a big Marvel guy. This Death, uh, what is this? Dark Knight's Death Metal 4 will probably go back out to the community as well as this Vampirella. This Moon Knight is absolutely fantastic. Love the Fantastic Four. And then this Invincible Iron Man will go into a mystery box or, or something like that. Go back out to the community, a giveaway. But overall, Drac knocked it out the park again. Like I said before, I'm curious to see because I know these boxes were put together months ago if the values held up. So, of course, we got to do the total value. So, what's the total value of this box and that's gonna do it for me ladies and gentlemen as always subscribe like hit that notification bell share this video tell your friends about me consider joining the link squad and as always most importantly spread love because it's the Brooklyn way peace